You know how every time you try to install or update your emulators, you end up digging through GitHub pages, downloading different apps, getting frustrated with all the manual downloads, and on top of that, there is no single source that tells you when an app has been updated, unless you manually go check its GitHub page. If you were into emulation, you've probably done that way too many times. One emulator here, another there, it gets old fast. Now imagine if there was something like Google Play that automatically told you when your favorite emulators like NetherSX2 or GameHub Lite got new updates and let you install them instantly. Well, it exists. It's called Optanium, and most emulator fans have no idea it's out there. But once you see what it can do, you'll never update your apps the old way again. Now that you know what Optanium is and why it's so useful, let's start the setup. You can get Optanium either from its official website or from its GitHub page. It's totally up to you which one you prefer. In this video, I'll be using the official website. Both links are in the description below. Once you're on the website, scroll down and select Download Universal APK to get started. Once the download begins, wait for it to finish. Then tap install to complete the setup. Before opening Optanium, we need to grab an import file from GitHub, which is called the Optanium Emulation Pack. This file automatically adds all available Android emulators hosted on GitHub to your Optanium list. I've also included the link to the GitHub page in the description below. Just download the latest released file with the .json extension. We'll be using it very soon. Now go ahead and open Optanium. Allow it to send you notifications so it can alert you whether your emulators have updates available. If your phone automatically opens battery saver settings for the app, make sure to tap no restrictions so Optanium can run properly in the background. Then go back to the main screen. Now you want to import the emulation pack file you just downloaded. Go to the import export tab Tap Obtainium Import and select the JSON file from your Downloads folder. If everything's done correctly, you'll see a message at the bottom saying that the apps and settings have been imported. At this point, you are basically done with the setup. If you head over to the Apps tab, you'll see a whole list of emulators ready to go. You can update or download anyone you like. It's all really straightforward from here. Let me show you a quick example. I'll install one of the emulators, let's say Dolphin. You want to just tap on it, choose install at the bottom, allow installing unknown apps, and once it's downloaded, tap install again, and that's it. Updating works exactly the same way. For example, if I want to update GameHub Lite, I tap on it, hit update, choose the version I want to install, and I'm done. Whenever any of your emulators installed through Optanium get a new update, you'll automatically receive a notification. And if there's an emulator you didn't see in the emulation pack, or maybe another app from GitHub you'd like to add, you can easily do that too. Just go to the Add Apps tab and paste the release page link at the top, or search for the app name below. It's really that simple. Before we wrap up, it's also worth mentioning that there are some amazing all-in-one solutions out there too, like RetroArch. With RetroArch, you can access a huge library of emulators all inside one app, which makes it another great option if you like to keep everything in one place. If you're into this kind of content, definitely check out my video on Retroarch charge as well and that's it if this guide helped you out go ahead and give it a like subscribe for more emulator tips and drop a comment letting me know which emulator setup you're running see you next time